everyone, new 12 here, and welcome back to my little summaries of Fate Apocrypha. This time, 9 and 10 is what we're going over. At least I think we are. I don't fucking know at this point because I'm brain melted. But I'll start with the good. And uh, that's a bunch of servants getting their fucking ass beads. Amazing. Fran getting bodied. Astolfo not standing a chance. Sieg dying. And he did die, but, you know, plot demands that he lives again. Which is really fucking inf infuriating, honestly. Why he thought it was a funny idea to challenge a saber, I'll never know. But I'll never stop laughing that he got absolutely destroyed. Felt so good. So good. Just to have that sword go straight through his chest and straight through his heart, by the way. But it magically missed this time. And then just empties him out. He's dead. But, of course, we have to have Fran kill herself for no fucking reason, by the way. Why the hell is her master sacrificing her? Why did he think that was a smart idea? Why did he fucking throw away his servant like that? He's so fucking stupid. What the fuck? Yeah, we have not done any damage to her yet. None. We've pushed her back. Let's... Let's waste this uh, noble phantasm right now. We could just leave. She left her alive for some reason. I don't know why she didn't kill her. She just didn't. She stabbed her in the chest or stomach or whatever. Didn't kill her. You could have just left. You could have told Berserker, hey, get back here. Dematerialize. Come back here. But no. Fucking kill yourself. That'll work. We'll we'll totally get her. We're, we got her. We're gonna We're gonna win. Doesn't win. Even though technically he could have just used a command spell, Mordred's master, made her like dematerialize, teleport to him, then she can just go back. Fran explodes, and then you do no damage to her. And you just literally waste a servant. Even though you didn't even need to do it because she could just fucking tank the blow anyways. So what's the point of that noble phantasm? You just die. For what? To die. It's so infuriating to see that. Because it's literally just a fucking waste of a servant. When you could just live and fight another day. No. We die here. And he's upset that, you know, oh my god, it didn't work. Yeah, because you're stupid. It's shit like that that's just really infuriating to see, listen to. Because it's you can just choose not to be stupid at that point. Astolfo, I still don't know why he's so obsessed with protecting this dude. I'll never understand. He's Astolfo's cool. I don't know why he has to be fucking lame and want to die for this thing. Freeing all the homunculus and stuff like that, I, I still don't get the point of that. Like, where are they going to go? How are they going to survive? Are they all going to only last three years? How are they going to get out of the castle? How are you going to take care of them? How are they going to find a home? Like It just sounds like they're going to have a miserable fucking... Are they all just going to live on that farm? How are they going to sleep? Like It just seems like a really fucking miserable existence for three years, and then you die. Instead of just be a test tube and never even realize that you lived in the first place. Which, I mean, hey, that wouldn't probably be the worst, honestly. Would you rather suffer for three years and die, or would you rather just never exist at that point? Um, Sieg, uh, I don't even know at this point. He, it's just literally ass pull after ass pull after ass pull. He dies in the first episode that he's like really introduced, basically. Or second episode, I think, technically. But he gets saved because Servant shoves his heart into him. That survives, and he lives whatever he's not in immense amounts of pain or whatever then he gets run through with the sword dies again but then lightning shoots through him and hey it restarts his heart even though his heart's destroyed because it got a fucking sword ran through it but it's okay she didn't actually hit his heart she just hit 
inside of his chest, but completely missed his heart, even though, you know, it's right there where she stabbed. But, you know, it's fine. She she just missed. And, you know, lightning will fix it because Frankenstein, hey, uh, she uh, became a thing with lightning. So it works with everyone. It's special lightning and electricity that does it. That's why she can why you can live. And that's why you can then become a servant. Because, you know, it's special. <sighs> it's just really fucking infuriating. Like, why can he turn into a servant? Why is this a real thing? How is he not dead? How doesn't he just, like, explode in whatever happens? Like, we already have the lore of someone who has something of a servant in them. Whenever they use that power, it really fucks them up. This one, no, you have, you have like a little seal now, and now you can activate it anytime you want. But don't worry, you won't die. Who knows, maybe a whole die after a certain amount of times he uses it. Even though he should still be in like immense amounts of pain and like suffering. How his body can even handle all of the energy of a servant when other people can't handle just doing some of their stuff, but literally doing the entirety of a servant, being a servant, and using their noble phantasm. You know, it's like Shakespeare fucking said, uh, is this the time where we say to hell with magic? Yeah, it fucking is at this point. Fucking to hell with it. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't even know why. Why? What's the point of having any amount of rules if you're just going to say, <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll just have something else. It's just an addition. It's fine. It's so fucking infuriating. To be like, oh, they're totally rules, guys. But, you know, there's a bunch of fucking exceptions where these rules actually don't matter. So why do we even have rules in the fucking first place? Like, why can't we just say, ooh, pretty lights? Because that's all it fucking is. Like, it's just silly at this point. Like, it's crazy. It's fucking mental. Why? Why? Just why? What's the point? What is the need? Why do we have to coddle this one creature? Why Why does this have to be special? Why can't we just have it naturally progress or something? Why can't we just have Siegfried still be alive? Why do we have to have this self-insert? Why do we have to literally just say, fuck the rules, I don't care anymore? And, you know, people justify it with, like, fucking mental gymnastics the size of a fucking Olympic gymnasium. But it's... At that point, it's, fuck it, I don't care. There's no rules. There's no real rules that are fucking defined. So you can basically have anything happen because anything can happen. Why worry about rules when you can just say it happens because it happens it's just so stupid it's mind-numbing honestly and infuriating as well but there's not really much i can do about it sadly still like mordred she still kicks ass but, I mean, now that the who the hell fucking cares about magic, yeah, she's totally going to win. <laughs> nah, they'll just fucking steal her victories again. Because she would have had Astolfo killed. She would have had Sieg killed. She would have had Fran... Well, she did kill Frankenstein, but whatever. Then she'll fucking kill the next serve and then the next one. And she'll just rack up body counts, even though it won't be body counts, because then it'll be like, ha, ah, just kidding. Here's something else. It's just dumb. It's just silly. I want her just to win. Okay? That's all I care about at this point. I just want her to kill fucking everyone. All the Black Masters can die. Fuck them. Only Fiore is good. Everyone else is shit. Everyone else. Fiore is the only good one. The only one worth winning. Red Masters, there's literally only one that matters as well. So really, it should just come down to Mordred versus Kairon. And then Mortred wins against Garon because she's already done that. But it's uh, he was just going easy. It's fine. <laughs> okay. But, I mean, it's just it's just silly. But to hell with magic. To hell with the rules. 
we're just gonna do whatever we fucking feel like it because the plot demands that we do this one thing. I mean, people will try to justify it and be like, no, it's actually fine. This isn't just a huge flagrancy to the rules. It, it, oh, it, it totally makes sense. It makes sense, is what they'll scream. But uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with just saying this is just them trying to force a story because they want What's-His-Face to be important. And he will die at every single turn if they don't do said thing. I mean, how many servants are going to die so he can live at this point? Because we're already up to two. Can we make it three? Maybe. We'll find out next time. Maybe someone else will die so he can live. <sighs> because he's going to get his fucking ass kicked anyways, Siegfried. But I guarantee something's going to happen where she can't just fucking kill him. Because she's just going to be better. He can't be a full servant. If he is a full-powered servant, something's wrong here. But again, to hell with magic, who cares? She's still going to beat him. Because I'll take Mordred versus Siegfried. Straight up, I don't care. One-on-one, -on -one, she's going to win. I don't care about magic rules. I don't care about anything else. It doesn't matter. To hell with it. She'd win. Because, fuck it, why wouldn't she? <sighs> I think that's good. I think I am. I think I got it out of my system. Until next time, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to do all the things I've already told you to do. And uh, have a good one.